what is up guys it's your boy Dairy Larry coming back at you with a brand new YouTube video and as you guys can see from the title of the video we're gonna be changing the oil on my 2015 Ford Mustang it is a V6 model it is not a GT so if you clicked on the video because you thought it was a GT I'm sorry to disappoint you I just pulled up to Walmart I'm gonna get my oil if you guys are looking to buy oil for your car definitely recommend coming to Walmart they have the best prices anywhere like O'Reilly's or AutoZone or Napa they're gonna be up pricing their oil by like I want to say at least ten dollars and I know O'Reilly's does price match so if you guys want to do that you guys could also do that and just go on the website on walmart look it up tell the guy that works there hey can you price match it and they'll do it for you so if you live too far from a walmart but you live very close by to a uh o'reilly's i definitely recommend doing price matching you know me man i gotta get the best prices but anyways i'm gonna head inside and i'm gonna grab the oil and the filter so what you want to do first is pop your hood i was gonna say trunk pop your hood Prop it up. My engine's kind of hot. Open this bad boy up. Set it aside somewhere where you won't lose it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the jack. Now the tricky part is to find the jack point. This jack low key sucks. I've had it for like years now and I don't think I've ever put hydraulic oil on it. It's on there pretty good, but it's just taking forever. Oh man, I'm already sweating. Why'd I do this side? It's all covered in dog shit. I'm gonna check our jack point, see if everything is good. All right. Looks like it's right on the money. Let's put it down. Nice and slow. I'll try the 15 first because it feels more snug than the 7... 5 8s? 5 eights. Alright, loosened it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our drain pan. Hold 7 quarts. This car probably only has like about 3 or 4 left. And this oil is going to be super hot because this car hasn't cooled down. Okay, so it's almost out. Ah, oh, fuck! That thing is hot! God, look how dark that is. Alright, so next up what we're going to do is we're going to take off this plastic belly pan to get to the oil filter. Okay, got it, loosened. You see how easy that is? Super messy, it gets all over the wires and stuff like that. Look at how easy that is when you hand tighten it. There's gonna be some oil inside the oil filter too, just a little bit. Ah, oh, look at how messy that is. Drain it, there you go. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this sit so it drains completely. All right, let's get our stuff out. So here is all the stuff that I grabbed to do the oil change. So I got one quart and then a gallon because like I said, this car takes six quarts. And then we also have the Ford Mortarcraft oil filter. That is the part number right there for Mustangs, FL-500S. And it's the same with the GTs, I believe. And I don't know if it's the same with the EcoBoost. This is the type of oil that I like to run on my car, Mobile One. Just personal preference. I run full synthetic on it, as you guys can see right there. All right, so what you want to do to prep your new oil filter is you want to put it upside down. You want to open up your quart or the bigger one, whichever one you prefer. And all you do is stick your finger in there and you're just going to put a little bit of oil on the seal. And then you're going to put some on the threading itself. So add a little bit more. What I like to do is I grab paper towels. And since my car gets pretty messy, I don't know if you guys could tell. Look at that. Whenever I take out the oil filter, oil gets everywhere. So I just like to get a paper towel and clean up the excess. And then up here too where the oil filter was. Look how dirty that is oh this oil smells burnt all right so what we're gonna do now grab this new oil filter and start threading it in we're gonna hand tighten it you just need it nice and snug now the rain is starting to come down a lot more i'm getting drenched right now as i speak all right now that we have the car down off the jack damn what the hell who tightened this what we can do now is open up our oil should have a seal if it doesn't then it's used all right guys so the only thing left to do is to add on the oil I'm sorry, but my GoPro died. I'm gonna go ahead and add the oil now. We have everything sealed off. We have our oil filter tightened up. We have the oil drain plug tightened up. So we should be good to go to add on the oil. So let's start off with the big one first. All right, so we're done with the first one. We're gonna go ahead and grab the little tiny one, the quart, so we can add on that one too. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to save it because we're going to put the used oil in here and then we're going to go ahead and recycle it at our nearest O'Reilly's, Napa or AutoZone. Alright so I got the quart, I'm going to go ahead and add on this one too. So this will equal out to 6 quarts and then that's it, we'll just let it run, let the oil cycle through the engine. Alright so now that we got that done, we're going to grab our oil cap and we're going to close it up. All closed up she's all done brand new oil in her now we're gonna go and head inside of the car and warm her up and 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on here. Let me focus it for you guys. We're gonna go to, I believe it's settings, vehicle, oil life reset, and then we're gonna hold to reset it. And now it's back at 100%. So yeah, I'm gonna let her warm up and then uh, we can go and do our little test drive. All right guys, so the car's fully warmed up. I'm gonna drive it down the street and see how she feels. Let me see if I feel a difference. Oh yeah, definitely. It just feels way more responsive. Like I feel like it was like so sluggish before. So yeah, she definitely feels good. Let's put it in sport mode. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoy the car content, let me know down below in the comment section or by giving it a like. I definitely want to start shooting a lot more videos with my car. So by you guys dropping a like or commenting down below, if you guys want to see more, it motivates me to drop more content. So definitely do that, guys. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Stay safe, everybody. Keep on grinding and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.